Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually going to be starting our build series. Now this was actually voted for by a lot of you guys, uh, and it is actually to build a giant submarine. So, that is what we're going to attempt to do today. We're going to start by building the hull, and then we'll hopefully uh, fill it with stuff. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, but um, hopefully it works out. So, let's just get to it, shall we? Alright, so, let's go ahead and start at one end, because that just makes sense to do. So, send it to this edge and see what we can do here. Now, I want it to be really big, so we're going to try and make it really big. And it's not actually going to be very pointy, because realistically, the, the new ones, they kind of just aren't. Um, but yeah, actually, no. Should we make it pointy? No, we shouldn't. So, let's go ahead and do this going upwards. We'll do about three of those. That seems a bit insane. Actually, wait. Hmm. Alright, yeah, actually, let's go ahead and start with just, like, three of these. There we go. Very good. We're then gonna go ahead and change it into, I don't know, like, five of those. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and change it back to about three of these. There we go, I think. There we go. Alright, that seems like it's gonna be absolutely mahusive, but, uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. If we go ahead and flip that to the other side as well, here we go, go ahead and, I didn't mean to cut it, but never mind, go ahead and drop this down to here also, and paste it in, and then spawn it all together. Bam, bam, and bam, there we go. Okay, actually, not gonna be too bad. Okay, so, there we go. What do you guys think of that so far? I think that's actually gonna work quite nicely, I do believe. We're then gonna go ahead and continue this guy a lot further backwards, and it is gonna be mahusive, uh, as I've just said, but, uh, hopefully it does actually end up looking pretty good too. So because it's so tall and so big, we're going to go ahead and do this actually quite far back. And then we're going to go ahead and do these guys to hopefully join it together at the rear. Um, whether that'll actually work or not, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So flip this over, go ahead and bring it to there. There we go, good. And then do this guy to make it go inwards just a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. Okay, this guy as well. All right, fantastic. And that doesn't look too terrible. Nice. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to go about doing this, uh, going upwards, but let's go ahead and start at the front, try and make that into some sort of sphere, or like hemisphere, and uh, that'll be pretty good to go from there. So do that guy up to there, go ahead and do this guy going backwards, or at least going down to here, and attach everything together using these guys. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach all this together, try and make it very round, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so there we go. It is very, um, I don't know. It is, it is, it's a shape. It is a shape, so that's pretty good. Uh, now all we need to do is actually extend it all the way backwards, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'll be back with you guys again very soon. Okay, so there we go. The hull is pretty much built, as you guys can see, and it is very, uh, very floaty currently, which is kind of insane, but yes, look at it. It is floating. Um, I don't know whether it's, like, quite as long as I kind of wanted it to be, uh, and I do feel like it looks kind of ugly. I don't know whether doing this along the side will make it look nicer or make it look worse, I have no idea. Um, but I'm thinking flattening the side actually might make it look nicer, which seems a little bit strange, but let's go ahead and do it and see what it looks like. Um, spawn it back in again and have a little look. Yeah, I feel like that does look a little bit better, so we're actually gonna do it like this instead. Okay, so I've done some slight modifications in order to actually make it sink a little bit to see what it would look like in the water if we were to um, essentially just complete this and make it into a fully blown submarine. Um, I do like the way that it looks, kind of, um, especially if it changed color to be like gray. Uh, I think that'd be really, really cool. So let's go ahead and do that next. We'll replace the white with a gray and we'll see if that works and also looks good. There we go. Alright, yeah. I mean, I think it's gonna work. I, I do feel like the back end should be a little bit longer. So we might actually delete it from like this point right here and essentially just send it backwards uh, in more of a straight line in order to actually finish it up. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so currently very ugly, but that's okay. What we're gonna do from here is actually put on some sort of like, I don't know, fins kind of thing. So let's go ahead and delete a bunch of this uh, and add some fins. Now, the fins are gonna be actually kind of huge. Um, because they sort of should be, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and build these on until we've got enough room to add the fins. Um, and that's gonna be sick. So do all of these guys all the way down to here, pretty much. Then build this up very slowly. There we go, all the way up to there. And I guess it's actually just gonna be sent into the sky. 
Um, I don't know how I want this to look. I really don't, but uh, let's go ahead and do it anyway. So this guy from here is going to go upwards about three. There we go. Um, delete this guy, this guy, and this guy, and essentially just send it from here, going backwards, all the way to there. All right, that seems about right, kind of. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll actually delete a bunch of this. We'll then delete a little bit more. There we go. And that's where our control surface is going to go. So control surface small, too small. Control surface medium, probably too small also. And then large might also be too big. Yeah, so it's going to have to be medium. That's okay. And we'll shove that directly on there like this. Um, however, we will do it a little bit further backwards because we can. So delete a bunch of this. And there we go. And shove it on there and hopefully that'll look okay. Which, honestly, I think it will. So put that there like that. Good. We'll go ahead and do this, which is kind of nice. There we go. And we'll do something with the top end so it also doesn't look too weird. Um, just like that. There we go. Okay. That is the tail of our submarine added. What do we think? Let's go ahead and spawn it in and have a little look. All right. Well, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm not so sure. Anyway, what we're going to do now is add some sort of underwater line. Because uh, I do feel like this is kind of a cool way of making the submarine look a little bit nicer and actually kind of an easy way of doing it too. So we're going to send a line all the way down going backwards. We're going to send it all the way around and we're going to paint the bottom of the boat this color. And then hopefully it'll actually look pretty good when we spawn it in. All right, guys. So that is currently what it looks like. What do we think? I I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it's a little bit too like boxy or whatever, but let's go ahead and have a little fly around and see what we actually think of it. Honestly, um, I, I could maybe make it a little bit nicer, but at the same time, I think we've got the shape sort of right, I guess. Um, and if we get it level in the water, this will actually be pretty good. So I might actually leave it like this uh, for now, and maybe we'll change it in the future. Maybe. All right, so let's go to the bottom side. Go ahead and delete this guy, this guy, and these guys as well. Maybe a few more. There we go. Good. And essentially just attach all these guys together with this. So there's all of those going in, slowly but surely. There we go. And attach it all together. Um, actually, just do this. Good. And we'll attach it together using one of these guys going out sideways, just like this. Um, I don't want it to go too far. I actually don't want these guys on the side to be too big. Um, and honestly, that's probably okay. So, let's send it from here up to there. Good. We'll go ahead and send it backwards to about here. That's good. And attach another one of these guys onto there. If we can. So do this guy right here like this. Uh, probably in maybe one or two. There we go. Good. And we'll do something with this to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this guy right here like this. We're then going to go forwards a bunch. Okay. Just like so. Yes. We're then going to do one, two, three, and four again. There we go. Again, attach that. And then we're going to sort this bit out by doing this. Bam and bam. There we go. Again, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I think I kind of like it and yeah, that's sick. We're then going to have to do another one on the underside that is a little bit smaller and then that'll be it. All right, so the bottom one is actually a little bit smaller than the top one. So we're going to go ahead and try and get that right. Uh, I'm also going to just jug this, this color on the bottom side because we can and leave it like that. So if we can, let's go ahead and delete one, two, and three, maybe even four. There we go. Good. Attach this to there. Do this one as well. And do this one uh, as well. And this one as well. There we go. Good. Attach all these guys somewhat together, deleting them as we go. And doing this going downwards just like this. Hey, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Bam. There we go. I want it to go down to pretty much level with this. So it is actually going to be relatively small, considering. And there we go. Okay, fill that little bit in right there. Delete these guys as we go. And try and fit in a small one of these, if we can. So that's actually going to go in. Uh, inside just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, right there like this. And if we can, we're going to go ahead and sort the bit on the inside out. Which actually we don't need to do. We can leave that as is. And we can just paint it. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Nice. We've done it, guys. We have done it. Lovely. Okay, cool. Okay, I kind of find it very ugly that this is like this. So I'm actually going to delete one, two, three, and four. There we go. That's all of these. And I'm going to send it to attach onto there like that, which honestly is not how you would do this. Um, and this is definitely not how you do this, but it's kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to anyway. There we go. I mean, it looks a bit odd. It does look a little bit more strange. Um, but again, kind of like it. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Now, I'm going to do this as well. 
And... I mean, realistically, if I can make a bigger one of these, that would be great. Which I think is this. So if I can attach this onto there perfectly, then we can leave it like that. Okay, why not? Okay, so from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete all of the interior, which is all of this stuff. And then essentially from there, we can actually go ahead and, uh, I guess try and do a double thick hole. That's at least what I wanted to try and do, so that is what we are going to attempt. Whether it's going to work or not is a different question, but hopefully it does. So let me delete all of this, and then we'll start building a hole within the inside of this, and hopefully that'll look good. Okay, so this might actually be quite hard for you guys to see, so what I'm going to do is make it all white, so there we go, and then uh, bring it in a few, so like one, two, three, even four, there we go, four in, and then essentially you copy what's going on on the outside, on the inside, so bring it up, here we go, and go to about there, I do believe, and then replace that with this guy, which is fine as well, we go to about, it's not actually there, it is more like here, and then we go ahead and we do this, going upwards, until we are like three away from the top. So we do this all the way up to there, but we drop it down, and there we go. Alright, so we do the straight line from here, and that'll be fine. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Send it in a straight line backwards until we are about three away from the rear, and then we can go from there. So, we're almost good. We're almost good here. Da -da 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 -da. Three away from the rear would actually be... Oh, well, we want a three gap everywhere, so actually, let's just do it to here real quick. Um, and then delete the top bit, because we want it to be open, and then we'll be good to go. I think. Maybe. Yeah, so this will be what the size of the inside hole will be, and then the outside hole will be here. Cool. Okay, so the interior of it is uh, done at the back, as you guys can see. We have a two thick skin right here, so this is the exterior skin, and this is the interior skin. All of the stuff that's in the submarine will be inside of here, except stuff like ballast pumps and... Um, and stuff like that. These are essentially the ballast tanks around the outside. Anyway, I've now got to do the same thing at the front, and uh, I'm going to do that off-camera as well, so that you guys don't have to witness how boring it actually is. So I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okay, so I don't know where we were actually up to before, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where we are at now. So, this is the exterior of the submarine, and it looks okay. I mean, I don't know if it looks perfect, uh, but it looks alright. I'm going to go ahead and jug this bit in really quickly, just so that we um, have it be the same all the way around. Otherwise, you might have some issues in the future with it looking weird, but there you go. All of that is now done. If we look on the inside, I've now got a double thick skin, as you guys can see right here. And that means if we fill this bit up on the outside, we should be pretty good. I have put this in the wrong place here, haven't I? I have. The bottom side is, is wrong, but is it right at the back? Uh, no, it's also wrong at the back. I'm going to have to fix this real quick, um, and then we'll try it. Alright, so I've now done that, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a fluid spawner, which is this guy right here, and essentially put it in the bottom, just like so. Go ahead and fill that with water, there we go, oh slurry, no, just seawater, and go. Let's see if this sinks to the right, oh my. Okay, we might have a hole in that, but at the same time we might not, let's have a little look. Yes, there is a hole in the hole somewhere. <laughs> uh, so I need to find that real quick. Um, and then we should be good. So let's have a little look down the back end. Is there any holes back here? Oh, it could be so easily um, missed. There could be a hole somewhere in this in this hole, hole but I don't know where it is. So that's a thing. Um, I'm going to try and find that real quick, and then I'll, again, I'll be back with you. Aha, there we go. Okay, so this is it floating, but I think it's actually only floating because the... Uh, there is no hole. <laughs> Because there's no hole in the exterior bit. Uh, although, I actually, no, there seems to be a hole in there. So now it is actually floating, as you guys can see, and... Oh, no, there isn't a hole. There's no water in the outside, so obviously it, it should float. So there's some sort of hole within this bit that I can't find, uh, which is actually really annoying because, uh, realistically, it's, it's that that's causing the issues. So I need to find it. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. So if I deleted this, all right, little hole in the top, You'll see that it'll sink, alright? And it will actually sink all the way to the bottom, because the inside is filling up. This piece right here. And I don't know why. I can't find the hole anywhere. I've looked all around everywhere for it, and I just can't find it. So I'm confused. Okay, so this time it's actually worked. Uh, and essentially all I've done is I've added a block on this end, so we can't see through there. And a block on the front end as well, again, so we can't get into this place. Um, but what is actually kind of strange about this, if we spawn it in with a hole in it, which I don't think I've done, um, you can actually see that none of it actually has water in it. 
So it must mean that it is in place of wherever this wall is. So somewhere around that wall, there is a hole, which seems a little bit strange. But if we have a little look in the inside, there is no water in here. There is there is some water in the outside, as you guys can see right there. Uh, but there's no water on the inside in the center, which is the weird bit. Okay, that is very peculiar, as you guys can see right here. If we then go backwards, there is also no water in this bit either, so that's kind of strange. But anyway, this now means that we can actually get ourselves a spawner yet again. Go ahead and shove it into here and see if it floats. So go ahead and spawn it in there and... Okay, yes, it is sort of buoyant still, which is good. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if these other places are full of water or not. Because they might be. They might be. Uh, let's have a little look in here. There is no water in the front end. And let's have a look in the back also to see if there's any water in there. Again, no water. Nice, okay, so I think we've boxed it up enough, which is good, and there is loads of water in here. Brilliant. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and get some weight and essentially weigh down the bottom uh, in order to keep it stable, for one, and um, I don't know, I think that's it, pretty much, actually, so there you go. We're going to go ahead and keep it stable. That will actually make it fully sink, which is okay, but when the ballast tanks are empty is what I want to check out next. So go to the interior, delete this, and have a little look at that and see what happens. There we go. It's about right. Good. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know in the comments down below whether you actually like this style of submarine, with it being kind of an ugly shape. Um, or whether we should actually change it and try and come up with a different shape uh, as well, or different. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the other thing that I was uh, thinking about doing, maybe, is actually modifying the front end to be a little bit more pointy, but I'm not sure. I don't know. We also need a conning tower, we need some missile bays and stuff like that as well, and hopefully all will go well. But for now, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.